Hello everyone. So today we will talk uh, talk about the safety measures in mitology laboratory. Safety is an essential part of laboratory practice even preceding the diagnostic procedure. Safety for the worker, patient, visitor, manager and housekeepers in the laboratory come as the priority not just in hematology department but in every department of clinical laboratory as it is obvious that laboratory is the infectious area in the hospital it is where sample are drawn and deposit for analysis thus there is an elevated risk of infection to all the all that either work in it or are the just visiting every corner and every inch as well as equipment that has the potential to transmit some sort of infectious agent it will be wise to consider the lab as the pathogen zoo as that effects and essential precautions are taken to minimize the risk of injury Here in this article we will talk about what are the overall potential dangers in hematology laboratory biological hazards chemical hazards electrical hazards and fire hazards first of all let us discuss about the biological hazards it is an occupation hazard that many laboratory workers encounter daily exposure to biological hazards these hazards are present in various source throughout the laboratory such as blood and body fluid culture specimen body tissue and laboratory animal as well as other infected workers figure 1 represent the international symbol of biohazards in a typical clinical laboratory the worker may only be exposed to geographical prevalent and the common pathogen in his community but in research hematology laboratory the level of the risk increases exponentially exposing the worker to the most virulent and dangerous pathogens like hpv hcv hiv ebola even flu anthrax fungus sars the blood is the most important tissue in the body it is the body highway system linked every organ with one another thus there is an elevated risk for the accumulation of danger pathogen of every kind inside it thus even though all sample must be considered infectious the blood ranked among the most infectious the best example is hiv which has the highest concentration of virus in the blood than any other body sample due to the circulating cd4 cells in the blood which the virus have affinity for therefore blood sample and mitology department has a high risk of infection to workers and visitor alike what should be prevention method for biological hazards appropriate tra- training of laboratory personnel in the protocol of hazard prevention and available reading material like safety guidance document must be available in the lab or the li- uh, library from responsible organization of the country in which the worker practice appropriate ppe procedure must be followed by the worker at all times like gloves gown splash card helmet or goggles where opening vials when opening vials which contain blood sample there must be a sop procedure written and placed in the laboratory according to the lab protocol for the analysis of sample that must be followed strictly 
proxy axials like hpv and tb vaccine must be provided by the the employer to the worker free of charge which is actually part of the worker right list the laboratory manager bear the responsibility for laboratory hygiene organization and safety thus he must overlook safety protocol the practice of procedure appropriate to the worker still that is worker should not practice or analyze sample beyond their training physician must be informed of workers which uh, in occur injury like needle needle stick injury so that the worker could not get appropriate medical attention and reduce the transmission of the pathogen from work worker to worker in case of advanced research on laboratory animals specific care and regulation of research must be followed to prevent infection from the animal of interest never eat drink smoke handle contact lenses apply cosmetic or take or apply medicine in area where blood samples are handled keep hands away from mouth nose and ears infectious sample must be labeled infectious a way to up to date with the the latest research on safety procedure from the publications of credible organization which regulate safety and perform research in infectious disease safe decontamination and disposal of biological waste material there must be appropriately appropriate use of safety cabinets in accommodance to to the risk of the pathogen be be conscious whenever using sharp object like needles whenever possible never remove recap pen break or clip use needle for disposable syringes use safety inert needles when practical laboratory cleaning worker other than the pathologist need to be informed as well as trained effectively on how to clean the bench microscope ESR tubes slides and other laboratory equipment with the appropriate operating manual and chemicals for each device furthermore cleaning staff are the most exposed and at risk of infection than the worker does they need to be trained very well on the pathogenesis of viruses and bacteria and as said above what type of the chemical they should be used for disinfection wear tear resistance gloves to prevent exposure micro tears in the gloves may com- comprise the protection they offer remove glove and wash hand according to the standard after handling patient sample utilize the appropriate method of wearing and removing gloves use mechanical pipetting device no mouth pipetting the laboratory must be must have an emergency management plan ready for any potential accident with samples next we have chemical hazards in hemat- hematology hematological processes the chemical utilized are dangerous and cause that can uh, cause burns like hcl which is used in hemocytometer of the wbcs chemicals like methanol can cause blindness by damaging the optic nerves if mistakenly for beverage it is mm, used as a fixative in gemsa staining procedure in parasite diagnosis other other nocus chemicals that come in the mind are bleach and formaldehyde hyde which are used for the disinfection of benches with one ratio 10 dilution in case of 
hypochlorite and formaldehyde using as a fumigant agent to sterilize incubators. The list of the harmful chemicals in all the laboratory is volumized there are carcinogens, explosive, causative, irritant based on their nature but this paper only deals with the one utilized in hematology laboratory and I think I think we have discussed all that up. discussed all of them above so further we will talk about and uh, talk about the the different point on how we can handle chemicals before that a figure to represent one of the several safety signs in the laboratory let us now uh, discuss the journal summary on how to handle chemicals first of all label all the chemical pro uh, properly do not use chemical without label and do not guess the name concentration of the chemical preparation date expiration date name of the prepare and the chemical label such as poisonous corrosive or flammable in accordance with the uh, nature of the chemical follow all instruction concerning handling and storing requirement for the chemicals that probably comes with the manufacturers called material safety data sheet which can be stored and read later on to understand the chemical purchased they contain the name of the manufacturer exposure danger like carcinogenic irritant tetrogen mutagen etc physical and chemical characteristics of the chemical the physical hazard it possesses the activity of the chemical precautions for safety safe handling store flammable chemicals like methanol mentioned above in a safety can or storage cabinet at a distance of 2 meter away from the heat source like bunsen burner etc only store working solution on the working bench for no more than 2 days do not store chemical together that uh, that could create a reaction work in a well ventilation area if you are working with irritant and toxic chemicals utilize appropriate ppe for the specific chemicals you are handling safety showers and i i drainage or washing corner must be built in the laboratory to address acid and alkaline chemical spill and the procedure to be performed must either be posted as a strict on written as a document do not carry chemical vials without their appropriate containers do not wear contact lens while dealing with chemicals because if accident occur it will be hard to clean the eyes next we have electrical hazards electrical hazard could occur in laboratory if the plug in for the uh, cables not built properly the socket and the cable are faulty without proper plastic cover handling electric cable with wet hands low quality machines which have not passes quality testing unstable current for utility provider which can damage equipment and maybe even start a fire let's now talk about fire hazards fire could start in laboratory due to, due to chemical and electrical interaction for example flammable chemical must be stored away away for direct flame and faulty electric machines and wiring overheating machines could start fire in the lab due to overwhelming workload it's important to utilize flames like bunsen burner in a safe setting the lab must be well ventilated do not smoke in laboratory some chemical are exposed even in a vapor state Ex 
सम केमिकल आर एक्सप्लोजिव इवन इन अ वेपर स्टेट दस रीड केयरफुली द मैनुअल दैट कम विद दैम एंड स्टोर दैम अप्रोप्रिएटली द मोस्ट वाइटल थिंग ऑफ ऑल इज दैट द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द लैब मस्ट बी वेल प्लान एज वेल एज कंस्ट्रक्टेड टू अवॉइड फायर हिजार्ड्स एंड मस्ट इंक्लूड it occurs talking about the conclusion domain we have mentioned the issue which can occur as a result of the several hazards and and the manner how the manage these issues in the lab with the intention that these rules for medium sized laboratory but in case of advanced research laboratory we can also include radiation hazards which can eliminate the from the radioactive substance we have seen what type of the issue facilitates the many applications of unfortunate hazards and the point that needed to be taken in order to make the lab safe for worker and patients alike so that's all we have in this topic thank you and have a nice day